Hi guys, welcome to another short video of Moxum Creative Adventures. This one is about the Ulifone Armor X7 Pro. This is what I use as a tactical rugged GPS for my bike. Um, there's a long discussion about standalone units like a Garmin or the BMW Motorrad units that they, they provide or use. Uh, Tom Toms, etc., etc., or even a Trail Tech Voyager, Trail Tech Vapor that comes on some bikes or that are more bike or off road specific. However, some of those Trail Tech units are super cool because they use uh, some of these sensors on board for your, your speed and, and uh, really take advantage of some of the additional things that I don't personally use. Uh, but there's also a long discussion about should you use your own phone or a dedicated GPS. Well, I went in between. A, I have an iPhone, and one of the known problems is the uh, optical stabilizer, which is basically a floating piece in the camera to stabilize your video or camera uh, pictures. Well, when that gets jiggled like crazy for hours and hours on end when it's strapped to your handlebars, those go bad. So they ruin, uh, they ruin iPhones and cell phones in general. I keep my phone in my pocket. This is a Uli phone. It's a Chinese rugged uh, tactical phone. Uh, Blackview is another manufacturer. Um, there's a long thread about using Kyocera Duo Forces, also a great choice, but those older ones that you're getting on eBay for 50 or 60 bucks, they're not upgradable. Now, granted, you don't necessarily need to upgrade one to just use it for what it is, but I tell you, these are about $130 and super rugged, super rubberized. It's like having the case built in. It's all rubber around it. It's, it's waterproof. I'll go through the list of items in a second. Uh, but I just use this just strictly as a GPS device. It's a big five inch screen. I don't use it with a SIM card. I, uh, it is, but the beautiful thing is that it is Wi-Fi. So if you're in a restaurant or a pub, you can download, upload and transfer without a problem to and from friends. It's not a problem. It just doesn't have cell service. So 130 bucks, that's it. It's done. Uh, so I'm going to give you a rundown quickly on what they are. Uh, Blackview and Ulifone, they're Chinese. They're for basically contractors and things like that. Um, this is the, uh, this is kind of the product here. And it's waterproof. All the corners are, are rubberized. It can handle a lot of, a lot of hits. There's a custom key. You can make it do a lot of things that you want to do. Glove mode is really cool. Uh, it, it allows you to use gloves that don't have a capacitive fingertip um, to be able to touch and get around. Uh, there's a separate instructions in the booklet kit for turning that on when you get it. Um, huge battery, 4000 mAh battery. Uh, waterproofing, dust proof, drop proof, this proof, that proof, 24 hours immersion in a meter of concrete and yada yada yada. And the good stuff is waterproof camera, waterproof speaker, waterproof USB port, waterproof button. It's using the latest Android 10. It's fully updatable. There's four gig of RAM on board and 32 gig of storage on this model. Now you can spend a lot more money and get more than that, but I tell you, it's really, it's a, it's crisp and it's moving. The custom key on the side is much like a walkie talkie. You can set it up for push to talk or an emergency flashlight underwater and some of these other, you know, a shortcut to your favorite app. Um, and of course the gloves mode, touch screen, the phone when you're working in cold weather, and it, it, it works really well. Um, here's the uh, GPS portion of it. It uses GPS and GLONASS and Galileo. Do a little research on those. Th those are pretty much the, uh, the top three that, that, will, that, will have, <laughs> that will find you where you need to find. There's an outdoor kit that's in, you know, included. It's part of the flashed in firmware. Um, levels and some stuff that's above and beyond the normal Android software you would get. 
doesn't really matter. Uh, times, look at this, 430 hours of standby. There's a lot of time on this battery. It's pretty slick. You can get one with 8,000, but again, triple the money. Underwater. So long story short, I use this with a variety of apps. And uh, my phone does my stuff for finding campsites, um, fuel, things like that. Even though I have all the maps loaded onto here to find those things. But I'm telling you, this thing hasn't failed me. It's got a lanyard connection on it, which is nice because I have this little mini carabiner. And I just click it on to my, my mount on the bike. I don't see any, you know, be, Ozymand, Gaia, GPS Viewer Pro, uh, Drive Mode Dashboard, the list goes on and on that, that, that you just have it at your fingertips. So if, you, you know, if you're in cities or out of cities, Google, I mean, it's all there for 130 bucks. So, and I've dropped it, trust me. So comments below if you have any questions it's definitely the smart way to go for hundreds less than than a dedicated device that that is pretty much what you get is what you get with those it's it's if you don't like the interface of one, what comes on that on that garmin or that trail tech or whatever it is you've chosen you're that's it uh this is this is at least as a backup at the very worst all right cheers if you have any questions let me know